Here we go again. We are back in Florida where you have these two idiots by the names of Jada Harris and Shatiana Bishop, who these were healthcare workers and they live streamed themselves abusing and taunting an elderly patient who has dementia on Snapchat. Now, I just did a video about a woman in the state that I live in who was recording herself abusing children at a daycare. I don't know what it is with people nowadays wanting to live stream and record videos of themselves abusing kids or abusing anybody or murdering people. Because remember, I did the video about the woman who, who killed her husband on the live stream on Facebook. Then you didn't, I did the video about the man who killed his child on FaceTime while FaceTiming the mother. All of these videos, I think I did at least one a week for the last three or four weeks. It's absolutely insane. And then, of course, you know, you have what Peyton Gendron did when he was recorded with the the terroristic anti-black hate crime murder of those 10 black people at the Topps grocery store in Buffalo, New York. It was live streaming as he did it. That is like, it's already bad enough of the act in which you're committing, but to live stream it as well is even more sick. Because you're trying to do it for other people's enjoyment and entertainment. Not everyone is turned on or flattered by seeing people be abused or killed on camera. Two female healthcare workers in Florida have been arrested after they allegedly taped themselves abusing an elderly dementia patient and live streamed the footage on Snapchat. And I think that's what makes it even worse is that the patient had dementia. So they probably had no idea what the hell was going on, depending on what level their dementia is at. Jada Harris and Shatiana Bishop were taken into custody last week and charged with one count each of video voyeurism and abuse and neglect of an elderly person or disabled adult. Harris, age 18, was also charged with one count of interception or disclosure of wired communications. They actually put it up on a live stream platform so that their friends could watch it, laugh about it as they mock this elderly person in her condition, Sheriff Wayne Ivey said in a video posted to the office's Facebook page. According to a sworn affidavit of profitable, probable cause, Harris and Bishop on April 3rd were caring for a patient at Market Street Memory Care in Melbourne, located about 55 miles southeast of Orlando. At approximately 9.46 p.m., Harris positioned her cell phone on the bathroom sink so it could record her and Bishop caring for the victim and live stream on her Snapchat account under the username Pretty As Jada, police said. The live feed was captured by an anonymous citizen and turned over to police in four separate videos. The first video allegedly shows Harris holding an adult diaper and Bishop holding a blanket while the victim can be heard screaming no. Harris states this is so embarrassing and requests that Bishop get the live. Bishop grabs the cell phone and states everyone is laughing and focuses the camera towards Harris and the victim, the affidavit states. The victim using both of her hands, grabs to Harris's right arm and is constantly yelling while Harris tries to get loose from her grip. In the background, you can hear Bishop laughing at the incident. So basically, that goes back to what I was saying. Was this person in their right mind? But apparently, they definitely were. Jada Harris, uh, I'm sorry, I, I was just reading the caption because they actually show a picture of, the, a picture from the live in which it, I was just describing. In the second clip, taken about a minute later, Harris allegedly picks up the cell phone and says, this is so embarrassing, I'm sorry, y'all, she embarrassing, in reference to the victim, who can still be heard yelling at the two healthcare workers. As the victim walks out of the bathroom, she calls one of the workers a son of a bitch, police wrote. Oh, she's definitely in her right mind. Harris then allegedly laughs and says to the camera, there she goes, look at her effing peeing. In the third video, Harris and Bishop are allegedly locked in the victim's private bathroom addressing the live stream as the victim bangs on the door. Harris allegedly states that she goes through this every night and refers to the victim as a psycho or something. The cell phone is set up in the victim's private bedroom for the fourth and final clip per the affidavit. At the start of the video, the victim can be heard saying, help me. Bishop allegedly responds by saying, ain't no help for you. She then walks over to the, towards the victim's bed 
removes the sheets and says to the victim, you making me mad now, let's go. The victim then attempts to grab Harris's phone, but Harris pulls the device away and reads aloud several comments from people viewing the live stream, including one person suggesting that the healthcare workers lock her in the closet. These people are sick. The two workers then record themselves pulling, putting an adult diaper on the victim. So you already have a problem that, let's just say, you know, hypothetically say that they weren't doing this for shits and giggles. My problem is why are you recording yourselves doing this with a patient? That's something that should not be recorded. And I hope the family gets wind of what they did. I just had to throw that in there, but I'm going to continue reading. In an interview with investigators, the director of the facility said that the day after the live stream, staff reported that the victim was not acting like herself. The victim was allegedly pacing back and forth while reportedly screaming son of a bitch throughout the day. Police said that during the interview, the director was crying, thinking about how distressed the victim was in the video the day after. The only good news in this case is that the victim is now safe and sound with true professional health care workers that are with her and her family taking care of her. Sheriff Ivy said during the news conference in which he referred to Bishop and Harris as disgusting and vile individuals. I've asked our team to make sure they work closely with the state's attorney office and the judicial system to make sure that these two can never be involved in any type of health care again in their lives. I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't let them care for a pet cobra because he might accidentally bite them and he would die of a, of scumbag poisoning. Joined this. Oh, I almost read something else. Harris and Bishop were released from jail on April 8th after posting bonds of $6,000 and $4,000, respectively. They are scheduled to appear in court next month. Besides the also the fact of what they did, I honestly think they were too young to be working in a facility like that. Because they said one of them, I think they only said one of them, age was 18. I think that is too young to work in a facility like that. I think they should have definitely been a little bit older, had a little bit more training on how to do and how to deal with people in that capacity. But at the same time, they were old enough to know better and not record them doing work like that. Like that should not have been put on display for people to see. That's a private matter. You're changing out someone's diaper who has dementia and they're posting up pictures for it to be seen. So this is the picture that they were referring to. This picture right here. Look at her. She's holding up this adult diaper. Now, this is the comment right here that someone was talking about where they said lock her in the closet. If you can see it right here, it's a little faded. But it says lock her in the closet. That's what somebody actually said. These are some goof troops. I wouldn't even have them watch a a goldfish. But like I said, the fact that what well, they said she's 18, I think she's the 18 year old. I think she's the 18. They didn't specify the age of the other one, but she looks to be around the same age as her. They probably know each other before they got there. They should not have had jobs like this. They are too young and very immature to handle something like this. Clearly. Now they say age doesn't defy maturity. And clearly, these two are far from it. And if I was the family of the victim, oh, they would be getting sued. I might even go even further to try to sue the facility because I'd be like, what the hell made you think that hiring them was a good idea? That's crazy. That is insane. I'm just glad because I, when I was reading this, I was expecting to hear words of them hitting her. I'm When I was reading even further into the story, I was expecting to read the words that these two had physically abused as far as like hitting her or slapping her or something like that. Thankfully, they didn't go that far. But the fact is they went far enough to make me look at them and say, yeah, these two are irresponsible. They're immature. I would make them. They would definitely get some jail time or at best some serious, serious probation where they have to do a lot of community service. Find something that, that they don't like and make them do more of it. But yeah, I'm glad the woman is okay. 
But the fact of the matter is, is that this woman has dementia. And I think that play, that really plays on me because I had a grandmother who passed away back in 2008. She had Alzheimer's, you know, Alzheimer's and dementia. They're like distant cousins and not that distant, to be quite honest. And I and she was in a nursing home and it would have destroyed me to know that if she was being abused like that. And we hear stories like this all the time where a lot of uh, when it comes to nursing homes where people are being abused inside of there when their families are not looking or not around doing God knows what to them. And it is a very sad thing to hear. But I'm glad she that they got her better medical care from professionals who know what the hell they are doing instead of hiring these two fools just because they felt, you know, I, I don't know, was were they a part of an outreach program? I guess, maybe. But the fact of the matter is they shouldn't have even been there. 